to be presenting their projects and uh, uh, I'll be more than happy to hear suggestions, comments, feedback from my students. So first, Ahmed, please explain your project in detail. Um, it's a simple calculator. Basically, just multiplies, divides, and adds and subtracts any number. Okay. Um, yeah, that's about it. So what uh, you have you made any presentation uh, in PowerPoint slides like that? Uh, no. OK, anyways, uh, you can explain what is your program doing? What, what are the different parts and in detail starting from line number eight? Um, importing, it's just like all the math and the like a uh, QD pie stuff. And then class, which defines a new class is calculator app that um, comes from Q widget, which makes it a widget based application. And then def in itself defines the way it's um, construct. It's like it's constructor method and super in it. Um, it initializes it. Uh, uh, hold on, hold on. What is this super? What, what is this uh, super doing over here? Um, it like calls on the base class to initialize it. Okay, if you run this code, is, is it working? If please run it. Yeah. Yeah, runs fine. Uh, you, yeah, I can't see your. Uh, anyways, uh, you, uh, if you like, if you share your screen, entire screen, then I can see that uh, uh, pro your application running as well. Um. Yeah. Okay, so this is uh, this is your calculator. So they are arranged vertically like that. Why is that so? You have uh, uh, made the array seven, eight, nine. Then the divide slash forward slash. Then four, five, six, and all of them are arranged vertically. Now, if I ask you to arrange them. Uh, horizontally, then how would you do it? Um, I would make it wider. I don't remember where I put that. Oh, here. Uh, okay. If you make it wider, suppose you stretch it. Hold the, uh, the uh, uh, window. And then uh, uh, stretch it and see what happens. No, I have to change it in here. It's not going to stretch if it's. Well, it's going to stretch, but the numbers are going to stay the same. They are still uh, in uh, arranged vertically. If you uh, want to arrange them in rows, uh, what uh, would you do for that? Um. Change this to self. Okay, change it. No, nope, never mind. Right. 
How would you change it? Um, would I change this? Uh, I want them to be arranged horizontally or uh, in form of a matrix. Well, I have rows and columns. I haven't arranged it like this. I just don't know. No, no, uh, it's fine. Hold you on. have done it that way. Aesthetically, uh, it would be more appro appropriate if they are arranged in matrix. Uh, but my question is that if you uh, would like, if I suppose ask you to uh, arrange them <coughs> horizontally or uh, in form of a matrix, then what would what changes would you do? Um, change set geometry or set fix. Okay, then right. um, so take from me that all the last minute to uh, give this. Uh, what Amos? Yeah. No, no, you can't. Uh, okay. Yeah. Your voice kept breaking up. Yeah. Your voice is breaking up again. You have to. My, my voice is breaking up. Yeah. Let me. Uh, OK, let me. Let me arrange. Um, yeah. Okay, I was uh, uh, talking from my mobile phone at that. The, that was that's why it was breaking. Okay, now now uh, <clears throat> what would you do if I want you to arrange these buttons in form of a matrix? What change would you do, and that would give me the result? Um, I would change the columns. Okay, do it and. Let's see and then what happens. All right. That didn't work. That. OK, that did not work. Now, if you refer to the uh, lecture, uh, if you refer to the uh, to our lecture number 28, you can see that we have added a uh, horizontal box and uh, the vertical box. And then in the horizontal and then these uh, by doing that we were able to arrange them in lecture number um, 28. I had discussed the complete calculator program. So if you. If you go to that code and see what I what I had done there and then use it. Or the program that I had shared with you earlier. And see the diff compare and see the difference between your code and that program and then uh, tell me what are the differences and then incorporate those differences in your code and give me this kind of uh, visual appearance of calculator. No. Um, you have make like a comparison, layout, detailed comparison. Bottom layout, add widget, and then bottom layout, uh, add widget and self result label and number. Bottom Achha, okay, layout. okay. Now go back uh, to your program. Mine's QV box layout. They're kind of different.
Okay, can you guys hear me now? Yeah. Okay, that's good. So if you go to your code and uh, what you do there is uh, uh, in this uh, line number 28, put a square bracket before uh, the, that seven. The, that, uh, let's just make that change and see what happens. Put another square bracket there. And another square bracket at the end of that forward slash before the comma. And uh, not here, actually. If you go to forward slash, line number 28, after nine, there is a forward slash on the right hand side. That's with delete. Okay, put a, a square bracket after that uh, single quote before comma. Oh, it's like. And then do it. Like this. Okay. No, it's not. One. Put a square bracket here before you. There is. No. Yes, sir, but I can barely hear you. Uh, tell me, how does it look? Um, it looks like it's not working. Can you hear me now? Yeah. Is it running now? It runs for a bit, but then it starts breaking. Um, Okay, now, uh, how does it look? Can you show that uh, app to me uh, by sharing the screen? Uh, I am. I can't see your. Uh, is it working? Okay, let me see. All right, now is it working? I can't see your screen. I can just see the. Can the uh, asylum and item? What about you? Can you see his shared screen? Uh, yeah. Uh, but I can't see your screen. Your uh, I can see only just this this uh, IDE spider IDE window. I can't see your app. Calculator app running. I want to see that. How does it look? Can you please uh, somehow share your entire screen? In a... uh, I am. I don't know. Share your entire screen. Yeah. I... Anyways, uh, can you? Uh, okay, share your entire screen. Now, if you bring that your app in front of a Spider ID and these this uh, program, this calculator that you have created. I can't still see the. 
Okay. Anyways, if you can uh, if you can take the screenshot of your calculator and send it on WhatsApp so that I can see its visual appearance. It was a simple matter. It has taken so much fuzz. Take a screenshot. Just the screenshot of uh, your app running, your uh, calculator. That's how does it look? You told me your to calculator. How does it look? It work. Um, it looks like it has an error. Okay, so it has the the. This is the. the what does it say? Arguments did not match any overloaded shell. You push button. It must do it because we have to add these. Uh, uh, horizontal layout and then we have to add the more uh, 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 horizontal layout to the vertical layout horizontal layouts are added to vertically so uh, then it will work so what you need to do is look at the code uh, carefully and again you have done a good job you have uh, uh, made a, um, uh, a running working calculator but it looks uh, Aesthetically, it's it, it does not look uh, very professional. Calculator, not your program, your calculator's visual. I'm talking about calculator's visual appearance. So in order to improve it, <clears throat> we have to add more function. You have to add more functionality to your code, and for that you have to add uh, use those uh, 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 lines of code where we were adding the horizontal layout and the vertical layout and things like that. So you must go through the program that we had seen in. Lecture number 28, again, uh, please do it, go through it, and uh, uh, then uh, I'm leaving this on to you. I will not recheck it. I'll, I will leave on you that you will go through that code. You will uh, understand the difference between your code and that program, and then you will incorporate those into your code and uh, get that uh, kind of visual appearance. So uh, your program is otherwise fine. And uh, it just got you know stuck at that uh, small issue. I wanted to improve the visual appearance, but that did not happen. So I leave it to you that you will do it yourself. Uh, and then um, I mean I'm I will I'm assuming that your project is complete. Now let's uh, move on to the next uh, um, student. Haitham, are you ready? Or Sarim, would you like to present first? Okay, who's gonna be presenting his project? Sarim or Haitam? Are you, you guys, can you guys uh, hear my voice? Uh, is it okay if I have like an extra day or two? Because I was busy with schoolwork. It's not quite finished yet. It's still OK. You can get uh, another day and and then we can uh, keep a, se a separate session for you to present it. But you know, uh, last time the same was the situation. Anyways, uh, uh, it's up to you. We can I can. Uh, but now. Uh, you will have to show your project to me, then you will be you will get the grades for this project. Otherwise, I won't give you marks for this particular project. But uh, I'm accepting your request. You have whole week in front of you and but this time you must finish it and then you show it to me and then I will uh, grade it on the basis of that. Now let's move on to Sarim. Sarim, what about you? Your project ready? Have you added any yeah. any good? Oh, OK, uh, if if. If you have made a PowerPoint presentation, that would be wonderful. But if you haven't, then you can show your uh, code through Spider IDE and explain it to me what it is doing and what the different lines of code are doing. And yeah, I would ask a few uh, changes as well. Okay. 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 Yeah, I haven't okay, made the PowerPoint. Sorry. Okay. Whatever you, you have, you can show it to me. You have to explain it to me. Sarim, you can share your screen.
Okay, let us see. Sorry, I can't see your screen uh, right. Uh, I mean, I think it's my signal issue. Uh, have you? Uh, can you uh, guys, Haitham and Ahmed, see his shared screen? Can you guys it's see? Black. Maybe it's just white. Uh, Sarim, uh, Haitham and Ahmed, you, you people are in Calgary, right? I'm in, I'm here in Islamabad. Uh -huh. And Sarim, where are you right now? There you are. Okay. So see, we we are in, in, uh, so uh, in different parts of the world, and we are taking this class. This is so wonderful. I I, I foresee, or rather, I dream that. We have a 3D virtual reality classrooms with students sitting on different planets and taking class together. OK, Sarim, you can start with the with your presentation. First of all, uh, first of all, okay, run your program and uh, let us uh, let us see what it is doing and. Uh, oh, yeah, I wasn't really able to. I wasn't really able to like make any like graphics. I was having a very hard time doing that. So just um, I just made it in the text where you could like select it in like a list, which is what this does. So you add, add x y, return x y, subtract x y, multiply x y, divide x y, exponent. The base value of a logarithm is ten. Okay, so whatever you have, Louis. Okay, okay. Uh, start from the line number one. Start explaining from line number one. Okay. Then I will so, let you know um, my comments and conditions. Yeah, so just imported math, obviously, because, you know. Yeah, so. Then I added uh, my first um, thing on the list, the add function. So just did add x, y, and then return x plus y. So just basic. So and then, then the second thing on the list, subtraction, subtract x, y, and then return x minus y multiply x, y, and then return x times y. And then divide, and the, the hard part, I forgot. And then divide x, y, and then if y equals 0, return the division by 0, because you can't divide by 0. Or if it's something else, then just return x divided by y. And then if it's an exponent, do x to the power of y. And then logarithm, the base value is 10. And then return math log x log 10x. And if it's something else, return log and then x. OK, the, uh, the, uh, your program is, is. So uh, uh, can you please uh, tell me what line number 29 there you have written? Uh, uh, hold on a second. Hold on a second. OK. Um, can you hear me now? Yeah. Achha. Um. Uh, what was I saying? Now, I was asking about line 29. You have written define main. And then what is this main? Um, the main program, the main function. And where have you called this main function? Um, I don't really understand what you're asking. Uh, you have defined the function main, right? Uh, it has this uh, another definition while uh, another loop in, inside it while true, and then you have if conditions is, is so many stuff. I'm asking that you have defined this function, but where are you actually running it? 
from in which part of the program it's actually this main is actually uh, 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 executing running this is just the definition of the function you have defined this function contains this 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 and this then where are you actually running this uh, um this program this function this method look about it where the answer to this question would be if you search where else you can see main in your program Okay. Now, oh. now you. Okay. Now this. Uh, why? Why was it? Is why, why was it hard to find this main in your? Uh, uh, it's written in line number sixty-seven, and you have to search for it. Well, why was that so? Because it's all what the way. What was the bottom. reason behind it? Honest reason behind it. Why were you not able to uh, just quickly go to line number 67 and see that here I'm using this main? Um, uh, can you give the answer? Because I made this cut a while yes. ago. And also this whole part, I didn't make it, obviously. I basically just got this whole part from the internet because I don't really know how to actually make like, the logic work. OK, so that is good. You are honest. Anyways. Uh, uh, one thing that uh, a few things, a few suggestions or points. First of all, this uh, in this part of our course, we are focusing on graphical user interface. That was the, yeah, the, the main emphasis. Yeah, that I had a really, emphasis. really hard time doing that. Like I was just so confused on how to make the GUI. Uh, for that, I would suggest we we, we rather we have spent. Uh, Around three to four uh, hours on uh, GUI. Uh, our lecture number 27, 28, 29. These three lectures are on GUI. I explained again and again. I explained same concept again and again. So I would suggest that uh, uh, since I'm sharing my uh, videos with you guys uh, on that my on my YouTube channel, you can, you should rather I will urge you. You should go through those videos. And you should also refer to the lecture slides, uh, the, the PDFs that I've shared with you on WhatsApp group. You should go through it. They are really useful, and uh, you, that will give you a good idea of you know, how to make a G, basic GUI. And, uh, and another thing is that uh, I want you to make your code yourself. Uh, first of all, make a I know, uh, write a simple mm, algorithm or a flow chart. And since we have not discussed making flow charts, you can consider this thing as a you can uh, as a rough sort of flow chart that one thing up happens and then the next thing happens and then this thing happens and so on. And then uh, looking at that uh, flow chart or the points that you have written, you should then write, write your uh, Python code after that. Now in that in writing that code, you can take help from books and different sources. Another thing that I would like to uh, emphasize over here is that if you are using chat GPT, for example, for making your code, then uh, at least you should be able to explain it and defend it. And uh, you should be knowing it, your code in and out. And uh, uh, then if you say then another thing is that you can modify it, you can change it. And uh, if it is doing the required task and you understand it, and you have changed that and it uh, looks like your own code, then you can show it to me. Got it? Okay. Uh, wait a second. OK, now I'm back. So uh, these were the just these were just the suggestions. Now I'm asking you, Sarim, uh, what would you prefer? Would you like it to be graded based on uh, this project? Or would you like to avail another chance of making a GUI and uh, like uh, Ahmed show it in the next class? Yeah, uh, I would much rather 
I'd much rather like actually like spend more time like making like a real like interface of like graphics and stuff. So. Okay, you can uh, add different ideas in it. You can uh, make some new type of you know um, calculator, whatever. So that's up to you. Sky's the limit. So you both of you, Ahmed and uh, 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 sorry, Haitham and Sarim, you have got uh, one more week, but do it the right way and explain it to me in the next class. And apart from all this, uh, I would like to hear suggestions and comments from you people regarding this course. Any comment, anything that you have to say? What you have learned? What could be improved? What could be better? Things like that. You're open to say anything. You're open to say anything, any command suggestions. I don't really have any. So no comments from you guys. Strange, no suggestions, nothing. Just, you know, you guys are anything you want to say, any comment, anything that you have in your mind. No, I'm happy. So uh, uh, how you uh, guys would like to uh, rate uh, me as your instructor out of 10, each one of you, if you can. You know, I will not take it personal. Or if you want to be anonymous, you can even do it that way as well. 10 out of 10. Thanks a lot. And what about you, Aitam? Be honest. I, I'm taking this feedback for my improvement. Um, <clears throat> Sometimes you are a little too fast. OK. So I give you like an 8 out of 10. Yeah, OK. Any more suggestions or anything? That I've noted this just, point. No. Just um, just I'm slow. Is the course going fine? The my way of teaching OK? Yeah. OK, that's great. Really appreciate that. Thank you. And Sarim, what about you? Your you can give me marks out of ten if you like to. Sarim, you please let me know any comments, suggestions, anything you have to say about uh -huh. me, the way of teaching. You are a little, you know, uh, you are not that regular in this course. You should be. Uh, then you will get the full benefit of this course. Yeah, I don't have any comments. You don't have any comments. Why? I don't I will I won't mind it. It's an open session. I basically want feedback from you guys. Sorry, any comment, anything, uh, anything that can be improved. There are a lot of things that can be improved. Um yeah, I basically disagree with what the Hampton said, like yeah, just a little bit. Maybe like slow it down a little bit, but that's about it. Uh, sorry, I can't hear you. Your voice was not. Bro, I said um, I agree with like the fact that like yeah, probably because like maybe it's a little bit too fast, but that's about it. Okay, I I should yeah work on uh, decreasing the speed. Okay, 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 and I should give you time to type in the code uh, when I'm teaching during the lecture. Is that so? Did I get it right? Uh, 
I don't think I've ever struggled in time with the code here. Uh, I, uh, sorry, there was a distortion. Adam, can you repeat your uh, comment? Um, I said I don't think I've ever uh, needed more time, but it'd be fine. Uh, okay. Uh, do you guys feel that you are learning and something? Have you learned something during yeah. all these classes and lectures? And if I ask you to make a simple uh, Python program, would you be able to do it? Yeah. Okay, and you believe that you can uh, write a simple Python program. Okay, that's nice. That is a that is an achievement. You have uh, acquired that skill. So uh, now I would like to say a few uh, things as well. First of all, I will urge Sarim to become regular to attend all the classes just like Haitham and Ahmed. Right, Sarim? Mm, yeah. Like Ahmed and Haitham. Okay, that is one thing. Uh, because without uh, reg uh, attending the classes regularly, uh, you will not get the full benefit of this course. One thing that is one thing. The other thing is that you need to spend some more time uh, you can uh, say that you can fix some uh, five minutes or 10 minutes daily and write some uh, small python programs uh, whenever you sit on computer just make a habit uh, just five to ten minutes and do make some program some task that it uh, can perform whatever you have in your mind whatever you have learned whatever you can recall and do it regularly and if you can't do it, at least spend one hour a week other than the class. Then uh, whatever in, uh, class lecture I deliver, you need to revise that as well. <clears throat> Without that revision, uh, you won't be able to, you know, uh, keep things in your mind. And uh, so uh, in short, what I'm saying is that you need to do a practice. You first of all, you should all should cl take classes regularly, uh, which you guys, uh, Ahmed and Haitham at least are doing. The other thing is that uh, you must spend some time doing Python coding practice other than the class. Preferable preferred way is do uh, five to ten minutes uh, practice day on daily basis, at least five to six days per week. Uh, and or if you can't do it, then at least uh, spend one more hour other than this one hour that we take every week. And after that, you will uh, in a in a short period of time, you will develop, a, you know, uh, you will become quite skilled at pro writing programs. Now we have uh, uh, completed around 30 lectures so far. We can complete these lectures within a month if we take these classes on daily basis. So we have taken so many days because uh, there's so many weeks because uh, we take class once a week. Uh, so it is, it's, we have covered a lot of you know stuff so far, but you can think of that in a, if we were taking this course regularly on daily basis or five days a week, this would be one month stuff. And uh, in that in view of that, we need at least two, three more months, then you will become good at programming in Python. So keep my suggestions in your mind and I will keep your suggestion and I will try to improve the course. And uh, as far as the this calculator program is concerned, I will urge you both of you who, who have yet to present uh, your uh, projects to me. You can add uh, some new functionality or things like that in your calculator. You can add more graphics. I try to do a bit of study and search about it. And if you uh, uh, if you will do it that way, you will get uh you know improved grades and as far as ahmed is concerned ahmed you also have this option available if you are able to make a better version of your program then uh, you can also show that to uh, me next in the next class okay and we will uh, stick on this uh, graphical user interface stuff for a while for a few more classes and then we will switch on to the next libraries we have so far uh, seen uh, uh, what we have done in this course so far is 
we have uh, considered the basic python programming we have uh, covered the matplot library where we were able we were making the graphs and uh, the and th that stuff bar graph and charts and things like that and right now we are uh, focusing on the graphical user library uh, by qtpy and uh, we will uh, work on this for a for a few uh, more lectures and after that i will switch to some other library and then we will in this way uh, i will try to cover the essential libraries and then my plan is to take you guys to machine learning and artificial intelligence so that by the end of this course you should be able to make your own machine learning and ai programs in python or at least implementing some basic algorithms of ml or uh, python uh, machine learning and ai related to machine learning and ai so that is uh, you know uh, um, that will happen uh, that that uh, at ha it has uh, some time yet to happen but right now i, I will be focusing on the different important libraries and then in the in this way step by step we will move to in that direction so if you have anything to add and suggest and say uh, you are open to say that and then we will end this session any any comments any anything to say okay okay let's uh, end this session and meet again next week for the office all right well. office